What's good, good people? Did shorts cover? No, man, they ain't covering at all. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Okay, so um, today uh, I took my kids to see the Boogeyman. <gasps> you took your kid, your young kids to see the Boogeyman? Well, first of all, we're a horror family, all right? We love horror movies. We love the, the spooky movies, you know what I'm saying? And uh, in all honesty, this makes, in my opinion, you know, it, it helped my youngest son um, help him be strong. And it also is helping my girls be strong because, you know, they're not afraid of the dark. You know, they're not, you know, they're just loving. And it's a PG-13 movie, so it ain't like what, it ain't no rated R film, of course. So uh, I'm going to give my, my quick review on The Boogeyman. I know it's been a month since it's been out. And I'm going to just go ahead and just do a quick review on it. So quick review on The Boogeyman. So when it comes to The Boogeyman, all right. Um, to me, this was a typical traditional lights out type of film. If you ever know, if you ever seen lights out before, uh, basically, you know, turn on the light. It'll it'll you know, it'll run. Or if you if you're in the shadows, you might as well say you're damn near dead. OK, so that's basically just to give you that quick review of the boogeyman. Because that's all it really is, is just lights out. 2.0 that's all it really was now what really surprised me okay was a trailer that I'm, I'm gonna turn on as soon as I'm done recording this video a trailer that I saw called the nun what the nun you mean that dumb whack film that from a few years ago yeah that that film okay they got a new trailer out I, I don't know I haven't seen it on the internet I ain't seen nobody do a like a, a, a you know a trailer reaction maybe I gotta go on here on the computer and see something but nonetheless this trailer because I didn't know what was going on that that black girl from the movie missing she's on there so I was like okay well what is this why is she dressed like a nun wait is that bugs on the ground what's going on then all of a sudden she took the light and then the nun just standing there like I'm like, whoa, that shit scared the shit out of me because I didn't even realize that this was the nun. I was like, oh, I did not see this trailer. Every other trailer I've seen, you know, talk to me to, you know, uh, inside or some some type of inside me or whatever that movie is. It's all horror movie shit. Then, oh, Insidious, yo, <laughs> that scene where, uh, uh, what's his name? that guy okay Patrick or I forget his name uh, but anyways he's in the cat scan machine and then the the fucking demon comes in there like <laughs> coming at him I'm like yo what the fuck <laughs> so I thought that was pretty awesome I thought that was pretty dope uh, so I thought that was a pretty pretty uh, good good scare OK, it was a great scare. And uh, I think uh, people will enjoy that film when it comes out like it's it looks really good. Now, um, about AMC today, <laughs> Phil, what do you got for us on AMC? You you're going to copy what somebody else said, Phil. You motherfuckers don't know shit about me. Or at least the dumb fucking bots. You don't know shit about me. You don't know I do my own due diligence. And others have came and presented in, you know, information to me. And hey, I'm just going to share what they presented because I seen what they presented with my own eyes. Went double backed, double checked. But even before I came to fucking YouTube. So when I tell you AMC is going to moon, I'm pretty sure, pretty certain, pretty happy about that. I'm very excited about that. But like I said, you got people that really have, you know, they're clutching their pearls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, hey, if you know, your DD, you know, it is what it is, man. But today, uh, it did it did simply the same thing it normally does. Uh, Cause we're holding it and 
you know, where, how the fuck, where, who the fuck is selling AMC? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you got the in and out day traders, and then you got, you know, market manipulation happening at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, me personally, you know, I just feel like there's going to be a time. And I think right now, you know, the time for those hedge funds is coming. Like they're in the, they're at the point, and, and I want to talk, I want to give a shout out to Travis on Twitter. He posted a video basically where a lady was explaining how when people are facing, you know, they, they get broke. Let's say, you know, me and you, okay? We normal people, okay? We're not no hedge fund. I mean, we're our own big hedge fund now, but let's just say a regular Joe's, <laughs> regular Joe's, okay? When it come down to it and our pocket's getting low, what are you gonna do? We're gonna hit that credit card, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to swipe, swipe, swipe. You know what I'm saying? Swipe it up. That's where the hedge funds are right now. They're swiping them damn credit cards and that money is getting low. How do we know the money's getting low? Well, the reverse repo is under two trillion today. If you all noticed, I noticed, but I did my own due diligence. I didn't wait on somebody on Twitter. I didn't wait on a person on YouTube. I just saw, hey, oh wow, the reverse repo's under two trillion today. Huh, yeah, hmm, hmm. Now I know what y'all saying, but feel they can just manipulate, manipulate. Of course they can manipulate, remember. There's many different QSIP numbers, and not just for one ticker, it's for many of these tickers where they're just manipulating the market and nobody's stopping them. And then the CFTC goes, oh, <laughs> well, you know, we can't make these people at fault. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. These people aren't at fault. Come on. Come on. It's just a simple whoopsie daisy. Come on, you know, you know. But anyways, you know, it's frustrating when we have actual systems to track these type of people, but then everybody wants to look the other way every day, every day, every day. Judgment Day is coming for you motherfuckers. I hope y'all understand that. And I'm talking about the motherfuckers that talk shit about AMC. Oh, yes, yeah, Citibank. Oh, yeah, we're going to put a 30 day downside call on AMC. Oh, you want to be Credit Suisse? You want to be the next Credit Suisse? You want to fuck around and find out what Credit Suisse went through? Okay, Citibank. Yeah, calling all goons, calling all apes. What's up? Let's show Citibank what time it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, bruh. All I know is. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is you keep talking shit about AMC and it just don't look good for you. Sorry, Market Watch and Citigroup or whoever else wants to talk shit. But uh, yeah, funny, amazing shit. Now, um, but anyways, it's going to still trade this way, that way, this way, that way. Everybody's still waiting on a judge decision. So I don't know why y'all, you know, have any diswords towards AMC today. I mean, some people do, you know, they just keep dissing us, keep talking shit about us, buying our popcorn and throwing it in the trash. Oh, really? Hmm. So, I already made it known on Twitter and now I'm gonna make it known on the tube. So, Mr. Sniping, listen, for starters, okay, I don't know why, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start with the with the with the serious stuff first. Then I'm gonna go into how I really feel. Serious stuff first. I don't know why you continue to talk about AMC when you sold all your shares. Okay, I don't know why you do it. I don't look. It, I mean, I don't know what you, you ain't got no life or something. Like it's just like what you doing. You you, you are you are what are you doing? Is somebody paying you to do this? Or are you really just that bored, right? Are you making any money like you say you are? I mean, it looks like you are, maybe. I don't know. So what? what's the problem? Ah, oh, I get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You fell for the FUD. Nobody's giving you DD like they're giving me DD. You know what I'm saying? 
You can't see the things that I'm seeing. So it, it sucks. So you're like, I see the shenanigans. I see the shenanigans. I see the shenanigans. What shenanigans? You tell me. Like, ain't you from Florida? Like, you from down here. So you should know how the streets work. If you ain't got your money right, you go into the dope boy with the big work, and then the, the dope boy say, hey man, let me, uh, since you wanna get some of my work, I'ma need X, Y, Z. Simple. And then you can go and do your thing. That's Antara doing what they doing to Adam Aaron. Cause you know, they in, you know, hey man, I need some money, bro. All right, I get to you, you know what I'm saying? You a CEO, you know what I'm saying? Cause see, a hedge fund ain't gonna, go, ain't gonna give you no money. <laughs> they gonna take your money, right? So they'll give it to the CEO, and he needed this to stay alive because holy fuck, virtue is keep virtue and Citadel keep changing QSIP numbers. Okay, it's pretty simple. And shout out to my my my, my DD apes. You know, uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to James and his dad. I appreciate it for checking out my videos. I appreciate you so much. And uh, I love you all. But uh, it just makes no sense to sell all your AMC shares. I'm talking about it don't make no sense to sell all your AMC shares and then continue to diss AMC. Why? Like, bro, I, you know, I'm like, <laughs> that's like me, right? Okay, think about this. I sold, I had a, I had a ticker I was, I was invested in. I think it was, what was it, Meta or something like that? I don't remember. All I know is I talked about it, saw it wasn't going right, sold it. Move the fuck on. You never ever hear me talk about that shit again. Why? I sold it. For what? Oh, but no, you see a movement happening and you want to jump on a bandwagon of other fucking FUD YouTubers. That's what you want to do. So it's like... Okay, so we doing it like this then. All right, just remember, just remember, we're all watching. The apes are watching, and we see you. So when you're when you're doing this, don't get mad. And I already said this on a, on a tweet. Don't get mad when we respond. And and guess what? We got plenty of firepower. And I ain't talking about just dropping this video and talking shit back and forth. You know what I be on. I'll drop a song. I'll drop a video. I'll drop a, a, a fucking anything, a meme. I'll fucking make a movie, motherfucker. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, that's just all I got to say about that. You feel me? Oh, and don't 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 get it twisted. We'll, we'll, we'll have a few laughs. Don't get it twisted. We'll have a few laughs. You know, but honestly, you're not even really an issue because, I mean, your Twitter literally explains itself or the bio. Former a that's your bio, bro. That's your bio. So you mean to tell me when big money come to you, right? Let's say it could be an ape. Big money want to spend with you. Your bio is, hey, I'm a former AMC investor that took the red pill. Nah, bro, you took that griff pill, bro. That's all that is to me. But it's your choice. You want to go down this lane? Go right ahead, bro. Don't matter to me. All I'm saying is I'm just letting you know that we watching. We see you, okay? And that's what it is. That's all I'm saying. So... Instead of spending your free time mocking us, bruh, do what y'all say y'all was gonna do. See, and that's my, this is another rant, this is another rant video. <laughs> what, what, what bothers me is when motherfuckers be like, I'm over here making money over here, I'm making money over there, I'm making money over here, I'm making money over there, and then they be like, damn, it's been a year and y'all niggas still look broke as fuck. Y'all niggas still ain't got no bag. Y'all niggas still out here talking shit. What? What? I hate when motherfuckers do that shit. That's just fucking annoying to me. I'm sorry. It really is. So, uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, did Gary Gensler resign? Hmm. I don't know. Me personally, I don't. I. I mean, 
like I said, he's sprinkling a little bit of truth here. Then he does a little fine. He won't go above and beyond like everybody needs him to. He just goes what his he just does what his job tells him to do. And it's damn, bro. I don't know what to say about that shit, man. I don't know, man, because it's all this conflict of interest going on. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. But anyways, let me tell y'all before I go, because I know some of y'all don't got time to be sitting here watching me all night. But basically, as I was as I watched the Nun trailer, see, the, well, Boogeyman kind of helped with this concept, but I feel like I'm going to write a new script. You know, I already wrote a script called Pray For Me. I feel like post Moaz, I'm going to definitely try to maybe make some adjustments and, you know, make a movie called Pray For Me and put it out there. But I got another film concept in my mind, which inspires me to make another script and I'm gonna tell y'all real quick what it is okay okay just just roll with me just roll with me for a second okay all right so because I'm tired of the typical oh her parents died and she's trying to cope and now a boogeyman monster is trying to get her uh, mm, I got something even wilder all right or I'm gonna say even better a better concept that makes more sense and it can appeal to all the people that's in the street, okay? Because, like I said, we got people that in the street that don't watch horror movies, okay? I know that for a fact because everybody's afraid of scary movies. Oh my gosh, I'm scared of scary movies. But you ain't scared of all that dope in your pocket. <laughs> what? Anyways, makes no sense to me. But hey, people do it every day, okay? You, you scared of horror movies, but you ain't scared of that roach that's on your damn kitchen counter? You ain't scared of that shit? What? You scared of roaches, but you... you, you I don't know. Anyways, here's my concept. All right? Concept is this. Basically, you know, it's going to be like, you know, the beginning or... It might, it might be a short film or whatever. I don't know. Who knows? It's just a, it's just a concept. But basically, my concept is going to be... Uh, you know, it's gonna be a a, a D boy on the block. He's selling dope or whatever. You know, he doing he you know making his money or whatever. You know, and it's it's all good. Next thing you know, the Jack boys or the not Jack boys, but the uh, Alphabet boys hop out. You know, he do, he get the <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So he running, boom. You know, he dodging them and he going this way, he going that way. He hopping fences. You know what I'm saying? He like, oh shit, bum bum. He running, he doing everything, boom. And then all of a sudden, you know, he darts into a bando. And not just any bando, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about a haunted bando. Mm, right? <laughs> so he gets in this bando, okay? He don't know it's haunted. He don't know it's some fucking demons in that bitch. He don't know it's fucking ghosts or the boogeyman or whoever the fuck is in this shit. He hearing noises. He see crazy shit. He see shit trying to chase him, but the doors are locked. He can't get out. He, you know, it's, it's like walking into a haunted mansion, right? Not even a haunted mansion, but just a, we gonna call this haunted bando. <laughs> Let's go. Haunted Bando. That's what we're going to call this. Okay? So, at the end of this whole thing, he gets haunted and everything else goes crazy. Boom, 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 boom. Check out my movie pitch now. This is for any director that's out there. Check out my movie pitch. Okay? Haunted Bando. All right? As soon as he's trying to get out, right? The You know, he finds a way out and then... He turns himself in to the police. He goes crazy. He goes insane. He's like, I don't want him. I don't want to be up. Just let me just get me away from it. Just get me away from this haunted bando. <laughs> Whole time he thought he was in a trap. But motherfucker pulled up in a haunted bando. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, people. Fourth of July is tomorrow. We're celebrating America's birthday tomorrow. So, you know, make sure you grill your finest. You know, I mean, literally right at the, the AMC movie theater right here up the street. There was a bunch of fireworks everywhere, people driving everywhere. I'm like, shit, all this fucking traffic gives me anxiety. <laughs> but anyways, 
Have a good day tomorrow. Enjoy your holiday. And did the shorts cover? Nope. What are we talking about? I'll see y'all.